Well, that's the thing. I'm not looking for. I'm not looking for who's competing, am I? Just doing hey. my own thing, staying in my own lane. Well, hmm. yeah. I mean, I reckon keep this in. <laughs> yeah, we could. <laughs> There's yeah. people yeah. like message, message me all the time saying, "Oh, can you let me know who's on the competitor list?" I'm going, "Well, no, not really." And why do you care? Well, it's people do the whole thing of you know, looking at social media and then. Looking, yeah. at, looking at a photo of a face value of who they, what, what their competition might be like on the day. For me, it's a lot of people. For me, I sort of get a little bit... Um, I, I feel a little bit underwhelmed. What do you mean? Well, when someone puts up a photo, like let's say coming like a couple of weeks out from a show, and like, damn, look at that crazy, the vascularity, the proportion look great. And then they step on stage and it's like... Hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Like, you know, it's sort of like I'm expecting someone to blow me away and then... It's just... Well, everyone looks great two weeks out. Yeah, everyone looks fantastic. Including the pros. Oh, you see yeah. even so many pro photos, you see these gym photos of these pros, mm-hmm. and it's like, oh, one week out, two weeks out, you think, oh, my goodness, and then on the day of the comp, you go, what the hell happened to you? It's these weird protocols that are going in place. It's yeah. still happening. Well, I think it happens everywhere. I think yeah. people overcomplicate the last week. And me and Sam have spoken about mm. this, that if you look really good... One week out. Well, for goodness sakes, don't mess things up. I'm finding a lot. Do, don't mess. Don't do anything crazy to improve one percent. Whereas you risk going back five to ten. Oh, very much so. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. anyway, so, yeah, Thursday Thunder. Thursday Thunder. Yeah. <laughs> We're back after um, sickness. I got. I got, I got sick. We, we Ari went had a holiday. Yes. You got sick. I got sick. Um. I was away yes. on one and on one thing. So really, in the last month, I don't know what we've done. One or one or two. Something videos? like that. We did, yeah. the last thing we we did say something about Super Saturday last week before that. So yeah, we did something. Yeah, but yeah, but we're back. Yes, we're back. We've had all sorts of things. We've had COVID. We've mm-hmm. had holidays. We've had sickness, and um, yeah, and I'm going away tomorrow for another few days. So yep. we're taking a few days off. Cool. So looking forward to that. But um, yeah, as we spoke. At the beginning there, Ari might keep that in. Mm. I think you should keep that in. So you're prepping. How's your prep? Going great. Yeah, you're looking all right. Thank I you. must admit, but you, we're still fifteen and a half weeks out. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Which yes. is good. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm very much aware how far I am out and how far I am ahead. You should say yep. of a schedule, but I'm just taking it day at a time, doing the three things that make me hit my day, my steps, my nutrition, my training. Once they're out of the way, I feel like. Cool, uh, do that again tomorrow and then we're all good to go. And yep. so far it's been, what, 14 and a half, no, 15, 16 weeks already of doing that every day. And it's, right. it's worked out so far. Yeah. So do that again for another 15 weeks and, well, 17 weeks if you think about it, being nationals, worlds, maybe. Because I don't know, um, speaking of the worlds, we're back on the bodybuilding topic. Qualification for Worlds, is it you just go to, you, when you go to Nationals, you place top three? Um, top five? I don't know. You don't know either? ICN okay, yeah, yeah. is actually officially launching Season B on July 1. Okay, awesome. And then they'll be releasing all the details about the Worlds, everything, how to get to the Worlds and things like that. Cool. Um, I know you have to do the state titles, obviously. Yes, obviously. Um, and it, it's a bit of a quandary for ICN because um, you don't want to – make the competitors have to go to the nationals and the worlds, you know. Mm. Um, so, yeah, how they're going to do this, I don't know. I would have expected a like, sort of like a hierarchy sort of thing, whereas like you, if you want to do worlds, you have to do relatively well at nationals, be that a top three in your placement of your class or maybe top three in an open class. You know, that's what I was thinking because that just seems yeah. to me logically makes the most sense because it's sort of like you're – you're, it, you're going through a filtration system of the, depth of the best of the best of the best that are out there until you get to that point where yeah. this is it. This is the cream of the crop for this season who are going to compete at a world, ch- a world level. That's, that's, right. what I, that's what I think anyway. Yes. But, but it, look, yeah. at the same time, um, as a business point of view, it's mm. not a good model. Yeah. Because you want – you need to have yeah, I a, a whole bunch yeah, of competitors. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. from a business perspective at all. I, I know, and, and, and unfortunately, it's expensive to run shows. Oh, no, I a massive cost involved. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't know how they're going to do that as yet. Mm. Uh, we, as ICN presidents, we've been discussing it, uh, and um, that will be all released on July 1. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense then. Yeah. Oh, so, a few more um, days, well, a couple of weeks. 
Yeah. Yeah. It'll only be a couple of weeks, but um, whether you'll be able to go from the States straight to the world or you have to go via Australia, I don't know. Um, in your situation, but you want to do the Australia and the world, don't yeah. you? You yeah. want to do both. I want to do both, yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's right. Why not? Yeah. Why not? It's only like a couple of weeks later. You well, know? well, that's right. And I, and and I in, in the end, you know, as a competitor, I, I, how you're doing it is how I envisage you. You would want to do it. You'd mm. want to. Well, I'm going to win at state level. I want to go to the Australia, uh, do well at the Australia, and then I'll go to the Worlds. And that's generally, if you were travelling overseas to the Worlds, that's how you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's so, how I can imagine it'll be here as well because it's the first time the world is taking place in Australia, not the first time the world is taking place. No, no, the world yeah. has always been in, yeah. and it's um, generally the universe has been in Korea. Mm-hmm. The worlds have been in um, Europe. Okay, yeah. So um, there'll be worlds. will be every two years. They'll be back in Australia. So this year they're in Australia. Next year they'll be most probably likely in Europe somewhere, um, and then they'll come back to Australia. And so forth. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. yeah. So every two years they'll be here. So you could do a, I'm going to compete every second year. And every the world will be here. Yeah. You know, be to travel overseas. Oh, I'll be great. Yeah. yeah. Heaps of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yes. Anyway. Um, I'm prepping too. You are, yes. Yeah, for so I'm, your I'm three lift. I've just completed week three mm-hmm. of, of my prep for the uh, APL show on August the 18th. Yep. So, um, yeah, going good. Awesome. Going good. <laughs> yeah, you pulled 190 the other day. The 190 is now longer like a... Yeah, like considering a really 190 I'd only done a couple of times. I'd, mm-hmm. I'd, I'd only done it in competition once. Yep. And I'd only done it in the gym a couple of times. Which I do believe is your 190 or 192 was your record. Uh, 192 and a half is yeah. the official competition record. Yep. That, and that's the one that's on the photo of the wall of the gym. No, 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 that's 187 and a half, oh, that photo. Okay, where's the 192? That was the one where I did my first comp. Yeah, yeah. And I did 187 and a half. All I right. did 190 then the, that year at the um, deadlift only comp. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then last year cool. I uh, at the deadlift only comp, I fizzled right out. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, yeah. listen, if, if you're going on good, bad... This time it's good. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. since then I've been with a coach. I've been doing proper programming, and seeing one ninety on on the program. Was it week two, no, week three, week three. So what we're doing, it looks like we're doing four week blocks. So um, three weeks of building up, mm-hmm. uh, one week sort of like a mini deload, then we'll go back up three weeks building up. So this this finished on a one ninety uh, deadlift, a yep. hundred kilo bench. I did, mm-hmm. and uh, today I did 140 squat. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Yeah. So then the goal is in our next four-week block, we'll finish on maybe like 192 and a half, mm-hmm. 102 and a half, and maybe 145. Mm. Building up as we go through these blocks and on comp day, hopefully we're looking at, you know, well, I want a 200-kilo comp deadlift. Yep. Uh, 155 comp squat and a 100 to 105 bench. It give you like what, like what's that? 410, 415? No, no, that's well, that's my goal is a 450 total. 450. Yeah. So to do a 450 total, really, uh, it's 200, 200 dead, 150 squat, 100 bench. Mm, okay, that's 450. Yeah, but if I can squat. 155, that'll take pressure straight away off on the other lifts. Yeah, okay, makes and sense. And if I can bench 102 or 105, that really only leaves me a 190 deadlift. And you've done that. Yeah. Ari, do you have the video? To get, get, the, video get the 450 total. So yeah. um, a 450 total, I think, gives me the Australian record. So that's the first goal, but I, th- I, I feel we're going to do more than that. Yeah, same. Yeah. yeah. In your own head, you're like, that was easy, I'll do it. 20 yeah, and it is good that all these weights, which only like a year ago were, if I saw them on the program, I'd be freaking out and scared. Yep. But now it's like, oh, I'm 190, cool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sick. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, my sleep. That's right. Yeah. So, well, yeah, it's going really well. Everything's going, um, loving it again. You know, good. It's good to be in prep as such. I don't need to diet as you as much, but I do need to, and I have dropped, I've already dropped 
just over a kilo, mm -hmm. I need to drop about another one and a half kilos just for the show. So I'm yeah. in my weight class. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Easy. I don't want to compete in the one under 90s. Because no, okay, that boosts like... Yeah, I'd be, the, the I'd be the lightest in the <laughs> under 90s, which is an advantage, but mm -hmm. it then also puts... 10 to 15 kilos on every yeah. lift. Yeah, yeah, quite <laughs> easily quite yeah. and consistently. So 82 and a half is the goal to weigh in. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but I've been able to do that at every comp I've done. I just basically stop eating for the last couple of days before yeah. weighing. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. No dieting, just yeah. stop eating. Perfect. If I've only got a kilo to lose, well, I just don't eat on that day. As a, as a sports nutritionist for performance, that sounds awful. <laughs> it's like, it's like the, the adverse thing. Well, weigh in the day before. You go do it nice and early. Oh, yeah, and then you, then just, you eat up. Yeah, then you eat. Yeah, yeah, then you, then you right. could go crazy with it. Yeah. All right, well. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, apart from shop stuff, we haven't got too much shop stuff no. going on. It's the end of the financial year. Everyone's sort of slowing down. We're the same. We don't want to count too much stock. But that being said, we are stocked up. We've we are. Got, everything's in stock. We are stocked up. Um, people have asked about, oh, are you guys doing an uh, end of year financial sale? Well, at the shop, we do a sale every first Saturday of the month. Yes. So, yeah. um, we do six sales, six, 12. 12, 12, yeah. 12 sales a year. 12 sales a year. So, <laughs> that being said, our next sale will be on the first Saturday of July. So, Super Saturday, as we always do. Yep. But that being said, we do have some clearance specials on end of mm. financial year clearance. So, there are some, if you go, in, into our website or in store, we've got like a clearance table where we've got reduced products. Yep. We've got products that are, we're either clearing out or are changing or whatever. You know? Yeah, like old so rebranded sort of stuff. That's right, exactly. Yeah. Rebrand. So there's some Maxine's um, old label. There's quite a. There's a bit of that. There's um, there's everything in there. There's pre workouts. There's a fat burners. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I think you so saved like some thirty forty bucks on some items there as well. Oh, uh, they're up to. I think Ari's marked them down. Some of them up to fifty percent off. Yeah, something crazy. Anywhere yeah. from twenty to fifty percent. So. Just check them out. So mm -hmm. that's available online. You'll see a little clearance tab on our website. Just go in there and check it out. Um, I really might have made it even more clear as end of financial year more specials likely, yeah. or whatever. So check that out. Um, otherwise, then we're just going back to normal yep. and we'll have our Super Saturday on the first Saturday of the month. But, mm. but, but here at the gym, we are having our – only twice a year we have our big special. Yeah, so this special here, we usually get your 425 on your special for Super Saturday. Yeah. For the end of financial year, running from – when will we run it from? Uh, Say, look, officially it'll start on Saturday, Saturday. But I reckon if anybody comes in yeah, from, from this from video, this, this up, video yeah. is going to go live on Thursday. Just mention it and I'll um, – So just, you know, any time between now – and the end of the fi uh, financial year, so the 30th of um, June. Yep. Uh, the 29th is the last day mm -hmm. we're actually staffed. So the 29th of June. Um, just hit us up, hit yeah. Adrian or me up. And uh, 399 for 12, 12 months. months. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. One flat, flat rate, you're not going to no pay. No joining fees, no key fees, no administration fees. Yep. No other bullshit. No account fees. keeping fees, no other hidden fees whatsoever. No. You get 10% off all subs on Australian Muscle Online and in shop as well. That's so right. there's extra incentive there for yep. you guys as well. Full 24 7 yep. access. Three ninety nine, and we'll say right now that you come in now till the 29th mm -hmm. and you'll get it. Yeah. I'll all honor right. it. Easy done. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. There you go. 13 and a half, more, nearly 14 minutes of prattle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got there. It's always good to do such a chat, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, thanks, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. As per normal, this episode is brought to you by Australian Muscle, Australian Muscle the Gym, and Australian Muscle Online. With that free Australia-wide delivery. Free Australia-wide delivery. As long as it's over 20 bucks. 20 bucks, which is nothing. It's like four protein bars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get four protein bars. That's right. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning <laughs> in, and we will catch you next week. See ya.